All right, guys, so we know that Apple is set to release iOS 26 here in the month of September. Today, I want to talk about three updates that Apple is currently working on for the iPhone this month. There's going to be a lot of software releases, new product announcements. I want to talk about the expected release date and some of the new changes we can expect moving forward. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is iPhone 12. Yes, Apple is once again updating iPhone 12 models to address an issue pushed by the health authorities in France. Now this time around, the software update that Apple is currently working on will apply to all iPhone 12 models in EU countries, not just France, not only just iPhone 12, but all iPhone 12 models. Now the French health authorities determined that the iPhone 12 no longer passes radiation exposure tests. According to their results, it looks like Apple needs to patch this once again. Keep in mind that Apple did initially patch this with iOS 17.1, and now Apple will be providing another update, again, not only to iPhone 12, but all iPhone 12 models, and not only in France, but all EU countries in order to patch these radiation exposure issues with iPhone 12. Now, Apple strongly disagrees with the decision, although they will comply and make an update in order to comply with regulations. Apple says that iPhone 12 is safe to use, but they will still provide this software update in order to comply with local laws in France and EU countries. So yeah, very interesting that Apple needs to patch iPhone 12 once again. Now, Apple is also working on yet another update for iOS 18 devices, iOS 18.7. Now, this software update is set to release alongside iOS 26 here in the month of September. But why would Apple release iOS 18.7 alongside iOS 26? Well, typically what Apple will do is they will add all security patches within their latest software update on the previous software in order to provide users with the latest security patches. So this year, obviously, Apple will be releasing iOS 26. The current version of iOS 18 is iOS 18.6.2, which is running on this device right here. So iOS 18.7 will not see any beta testing whatsoever. This software update will just be released alongside iOS 26 to provide users with the latest security patches. For those of you that do not want to update to iOS 26, you can also have those security patches in that peace of mind. So yeah, iOS 18.7 will most likely not see any beta testing. We'll release alongside iOS 26. Now, last but not least, obviously Apple will soon be releasing iOS 26 RC. Now, currently sitting in beta 9, iOS 26 RC, which is the release candidate, should be available on Apple's September 9th event. As we know, Apple is now set to announce the new iPhones next week on September the 9th after the iPhone 17 announcements. Typically, we get the RC for the next major update this year, obviously iOS 26. So iOS 26 RC will most likely become available on Tuesday, September the 9th, right after the iPhone 17 event. Of course, I'll keep you guys posted. And in terms of official release dates, if history is an indication based on my experience, iOS 26 will most likely become available for everyone to download worldwide on Monday, September the 15th. Now, I'll keep you guys posted. Apple could delay the release if any major issues come about before the official final release, which we don't anticipate, but it could happen. So I'll keep you guys posted. iOS 26 RC happening on September the 9th, right after the iPhone 17 event. Of course, I'll be filming a video for you guys with the final changes coming to the software. There's still minor tweaks and changes set to be put in place here. iOS 18.7 releasing alongside iOS 26, hopefully on September the 15th. And of course, the iPhone 12 radiation issues that Apple is looking to address will most likely also be addressed with iOS 18.7 and iOS 26 once those software updates are available to the general public. Thank you for watching. Just wanted to keep you guys updated with the latest changes set to be coming to the iPhone in the month of September. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.